Okay, we have new details to talk about when it comes to Luna Classic and the 1.2% burn tax here this morning. We just crossed a critical milestone, and one of my fellow content creators is also uh, putting forth an initiative. I want to talk about that a little bit in this video. Make sure you're aware of it and take a look at the price of Luna Classic. So all of that in this video, make sure you hit the like button and subscribe down below if you like daily content here on YouTube. In the crypto space, I'm here for you every single day talking about various altcoins like Luna Classic, Shiba Inu, Cardano, Gala. I've got you covered uh, from A to Z. So let's jump in here and uh, talk about what's going on here with the top burning entities. So the 1.2% burn tax, guys, has just surpassed 2 billion Luna Classic burned. It uh, should catch the Lunatics token today for the top burning entity. Uh, Binance users down here in the fifth spot right now. We'll keep an eye on them as well as uh, the big news came out yesterday, leading to a nice pump in the Luna Classic price, of course. We went up about 50%, give or take, yesterday. And uh, it was great to see because things were not looking good the day before yesterday. Two days ago, we were sitting at the 1718 range, popped all the way back up to about the 32 at the high point yesterday. And uh, we can take a look at that here on the chart. We've been as high as the 3-1 here in the last 24 hours. Slowly but surely, though, we're giving a little bit of it back. Uh, you can see we're sitting at the 2-8 level, down about 9% right now. And this is with the overall crypto market actually up in the green, up 4.39%. So we got Bitcoin over 20K, Ethereum over 1,300, closing in on 1,400. And uh, a couple other altcoins performing pretty well here in the top 100. Now, here's the thing. This is to be expected, in my opinion, uh, some profit taking from yesterday. Anytime you move up 50% a 24-hour period, expect a little bit of a pullback, regardless of what asset it is, especially here in a bear market. I mean, we saw it happen with Shiba Inu as well, right? Where we, a couple different times in the last three, four months, went up about 50, 60% in a 24-hour period. What happens next? People take profits, and it's just part of the process. So, I want to see uh, you know, Luna Classic continue to consolidate, hopefully in the mid twos. I think that would be uh, a good spot for them right now. And uh, we're looking at the one hour chart. So basically, you could see we were here in this range where this line is quite a bit here uh, in September for about you know an eight day stretch. We uh, traded sideways in the mid twos before we broke down a little bit, as we mentioned there at the top into the one eights, one sevens. Bounced off it nicely yesterday. We'll see kind of what happens next. Now, I want to jump into this third piece of content here for you in this video. Mexi officially supporting the Luna Classic 1.2% burn tax. Join us in the LUNC burn tax initiative. This is an exclusive campaign uh, started by Classy Crypto, of course, a fellow content creator of mine here on YouTube. So shout out to Classy for uh, starting this and helping the Luna Classic community. During the event, users who register with Mexi through this unique page and trade will be contributing to an additional burn as well. Click on the button below to create an account, join this initiative. So there you go. Uh, very cool to see uh, members of the community, um, you know, far and wide stepping up to help in any way they can, whether it's, you know, bringing eyeballs to the Luna Classic story, uh, doing various campaigns like this uh, and what have you. So, that's what I've got for you. We're going to keep an eye on the top burning entities and wallets. Of course, every Monday we'll be getting the report from Binance, and uh, that should prove to be pretty big. Uh, it says, uh, you know, and digging into it a little bit, within a month, we should burn about 15 to 20 billion Luna Classic tokens just through Binance. So that will be big. It'll put a dent in that uh, $6.9 trillion, uh, excuse me, 6.9 or 6.5 a uh, trillion circulating supply, which of course uh, is slowly but surely dwindling here, you know, since um, since we've initiated the burns, right? So we'll be keeping track of that. Uh, of course, every single Monday, we'll have a report for you on that, talking about uh, how much was burned via Binance. But uh, that's what I've got for you here in the video. Thank you so much for popping in. Just a quick little update here, a few different things I wanted to show you with the burn tax and uh, give you an update on Luna Classic. Real quick, before we get out of here, make sure you hit the like button, subscribe. But real quick, taking a look at the price, uh, you know, hopefully we can find our footing a little bit here today. We are forming some uh, lower lows, which is not good. I was hoping we could, like, you know, bounce off of this 2.8 that we did uh, 
that we did bounce off of twice yesterday. We did break down a little bit here in the last couple hours. We'll see and monitor this throughout the day as well and bring you up to speed later this afternoon. Thank you all so much for tuning in. Appreciate it. We'll see you in the next one.